important because at a different temperature we will get a different kind of cheese or no cheese at all <laughs> because at 29 degrees you go to add a brandy like liquid to it may look like something you had last night in your local pub or in the hotel bar but actually this is an enzyme called rennet rennet is an enzyme that makes the milk thick and ferment so try to imagine after you put in a small bottle in a big tank of milk Having a coffee, going out for lunch, and come back after, and you find a big piece of cheese. Same size of the tank, approximately this thing, weighing roughly 40 kilos. You can imagine it's quite difficult to handle, and even more difficult to sell. So, after we put in the rennet, straight away, we have these knives. They're specially designed, with the two of those. They will rotate in different directions for one hour. And after one hour, all the milk has gotten thick, and it's also being cut, making two different parts. We're getting a liquid part, which you see on the top. The liquid part is called whey. Maybe some of you may know whey as whey proteins. Yes. Actually, there's lots of those in here. And that's also why it's used in the factories where they make cheese, for the preparation of making chocolate, cosmeticals, medicines, uh, excellent for your husband as well to pump <laughs> them up a little bit. <laughs> Actually used in the gym as a supplement for bodybuilding. We just give it to our pig to Charlotte, makes her big and strong as well. <laughs> but actually, it's all about the curds, which you see as I turn it around. They're, well, clotted a little bit already, but they're a bit, little bit like flakes. You can see some floating around already. And all those little flakes can be very easy spiced or we can add some flavors by simply throwing it in. Actually, you can even color, color uh, food coloring 